excellent design as well. Molten salt reactors in Canada. CANDU 6 is a, is a good design, available now, but there's no new R&D for the foreseeable future since it was sold to uh, SNC-Lavalin. So we have an enormous nuclear brain trust basically going to waste. We went our own way before on the CANDU. We can do it again. And CANDU also has unique opportunities in our oil sands. And again, our oil sands, most of it is, uh, it's not going to be mined. It's all in situ where you use steam assisted gravity drainage. You make steam uh, pump, pump it down. It basically uh, helps heat up and dissolve the oil and it gets sucked back up. They need, uh, pretty high pressure steam over a thousand psi etc uh, and there's a lot of things that molten salt reactors can fit in but i don't really have time the oil sands allura it's always been around in canada long viewed as an ideal proving ground you don't need a turbine and that's 30 to 40 percent of your capital costs already you don't need r d for a new turbine and I, a little joke here but ask the south africans they had to develop, for their pebble bed work, they had to develop a whole new turbine that was costing as much or more than the entire nuclear program. And of course, these reactors would be used in a, in a remote situation. Uh, many studies have shown that the uh, uh, nuclear produced steam is cost effective for these oil sands used. Um, and uh, what scared me at first as well, these old studies had pretty low dollars per watt for the nuclear, but the, the cost of the natural gas systems have ri risen even faster. Um, and oil sands producers expected to pay $200 billion on carbon taxes over the next 35 years. And those funds are mandated to be on, spent on clean tech uh, solutions. So this is, uh, there's, there's quite a great source. So why not conventional nu uh, nuclear power? Um, basically, a, a study pointed out the facilities are too large. We just can't uh, pump the steam around wide enough to use it. The pressures are too low and not flexible. Uh, and the steam just can't be push around far enough. Ideal size is 300 to 400 megawatts thermal for a 30,000 barrel a day uh, facility. Um, other potential small mo module actors, there's problems with all, and mainly about the, the steam pressures are too low. Uh, we can talk about that later. But the basic idea is using a, the MSR molten salt reactor combined with SAGD. We produce steam much higher temperature than needed, so we can either save money by doing it lower temperatures, or you use the top end of that steam uh, for electricity generation, for generating hydrogen by thermochemical or high temperature electrolysis, et cetera, because there's a lot of money that needs to be spent on upgrading of the bitumen on site. Bottom line, there's, there's a massive amount of oil available there. The molten salt reactors could help us get that out and basically, uh, we want to get off oil, uh, molten salt reactors, oil sands can help molten salt reactors come to being, and with time, molten salt reactors are bridged and not needing that oil in the first place. But we could get North America off foreign oil pretty easy. Very quickly on the Canadian pieces, I'm working on various, trying to keep things simple as possible. Uh, I've got a big network of connections around the world, et cetera, working with a group that we're going to speak here, but they couldn't make it down. Uh, uh, very bright guys work on how to integrate this into oil sands. Biggest news though is the uh, interest of a large Canadian uh, based engineering firm, which is, uh, it's not really a super secret. Some people might even guess here. They don't really want to publicize. They're, they're, they're dotting their I's, crossing their T's, probably publicize soon. So please don't push them that much. Uh, but uh, efforts led by ex-ACL, a uh, member who headed advanced reactor studies. Uh, they're hiring a team and working on collaboration agreements with me. Uh, we've been working towards a consortium, including the masters and University of Ontario Institute of Technology, our two largest engineering schools, along with Chalk River Labs, and those talks have been going very good. It's amazing the, the level of interest that we're getting in the university system, and of course, University of Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan has, a, has their own great interest in small modular actors, and of course, Oak Ridge. The CNS, uh, I won't really go into it. Bottom line is that's our version of the NRC. Talks with them have been very encouraging. Um, and we, they have changed their system to be streamlined for small modular reactors or small modular reactors. And again, government of Saskatchewan is very interested. So conclusions, by any standard molten salt reactors are superior to all other offerings, not just by marginal improvements. They were mandated to be breeders, but I really think the simplified converter options appear an obvious route forward, at least for the short term. Uh, it takes large and far-sighted investment, but, but potential returns are enormous. And all factors do seem to be pointing to Canada to be ideal focal point of a broader North American effort to realize this for the world, because we're not going to do this without the U.S., without Oak Ridge expertise, et cetera. But I think we can do it a lot easier a little north of the border. So thank you very much.